like working, listings or buyers? Both sides. Yeah? Yeah, equally. I, I just, my last transaction was first time home buyers. Young, I mean, he was 21 years old and I met him in, open, in an open house and he had enough faith to just go on that journey with me. And, you know, yeah. and now a, a client that I have, I mean, it's so cool. He's got 25 acres, 20 acres of avocados up in Duluth and the house across the way just went on the market. And he's like, I can own the house across the way from my business and I don't have a home up here right now. And the house has another 11 acres that he'll be able to do avocados on. And, you know, that gentleman owns multiple properties. So, I don't know. And, I don't know, the biggest... One of the biggest ones of the year right now that I'm working on right now is the potential to be able to sell the highest priced home that's listed in the MLS right now in Temecula. That's listed at $5 million and I have an all cash buyer that I've been going back and forth with now for two and a half months. Oh my gosh. Two and a half months. But I think that it's going to happen. I'm st- I think that's it's a pretty happen. awesome deal, man, for this We'll area. see what that's happens. Fantastic. We'll see yeah. what happens. But you know, I've, and that's played with my mind a little bit over the last couple months with going back and forth and just kind of going through that. It's not every day that you have a buyer that's in a position to be able to purchase a house like that to begin with. And so um, you just, you have to have some more patience with that whole piece because I understand that they have busy schedules. Um, but at the end of the day, though, it's just if it's within God's will and it's going to happen, then it will. And if not, then that's fine as well. And I have peace in that. But um, I could see how some agents, it would just drive them crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Knowing whether or not they were just going to have one deal that was like that for the year. You know? 